gentlemen guys in this video i will be telling you anabiotic and catabiotic flow of bend so let's see here you can see the mountain here you can see the sun which is shining the mountain is spreading in east to west direction the sun's rays are falling are falling on this part of the mountain okay on this part of the mountain as this part is not receiving the rays of the sun so it is colder than <clears throat> this part here the air in contact with this slope is getting hotter and hotter so when it is getting hotter and hotter it will try to move upward so here vacuum will take place so when vacuum is taking place here the wind downward will try to move upward so this flow upward flow is called as anabiotic anabiotic flow of wind and when it is moving the when this air is moving upward it will move adiabatically so what is adiabatically let's know adiabatically means neither it will suppose i am drawing here medium adiabatically means neither this wind will take the heat from this medium neither it will give the heat to this medium so it is adiabatic now get adiabatic here you can see the mountain uh catabatic uh, flow of wind happens during the night and its intensity is highest just before rising the sun during the night the uh, air air at lower slope will get uh, heat from the earth but the upper slope the air at upper uh, slope will not get uh, will not get a uh, heat from earth so so the air at a lower slope will be will be lighter and the the air at uh, upper slope will be heavier so the air of uh, uh, upper slope will try to move downward and this downward flow is called as catabatic catabatic